was a good uh, final impression you guys left uh, in the second half of game one. Uh, what were some of the things that you still felt like you could tighten up and uh, do better going into game two? Uh, our, our turnovers. Um, we had 10 turnovers, I think, in the first first half. And uh, we definitely can clean up on that. Uh, we readjusted, came out, and I think we only had one turnover, one turnover to finish out the game. And, uh, I think we can start off and be a lot better uh, taking care of the ball. Amir, there are some things that you do, I think, I mean, throughout your whole career, really, that don't show up on the box score. And I really saw them the other night. In finally game. saw. I, no, I mean, I said <laughs> I really, I didn't say finally. <laughs> I said I really saw them. <laughs> right You're like, it's only been a few years. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but when you're in the playoffs, what is your mindset in terms of those, like, going after the loose balls, getting jump balls, things like that? Play hard as hell. Um, this is the time of year where, where games matter. And uh, you don't want to have regrets by the time the season over so you know, why not just go all out you know give it your all and do everything the team needs you to do you know I try to embed that in my head you know what I mean just just go hard um, we have guys that, that can back me up and come off come off the bench and they play great so you know, my mindset is just give it 100 percent what are some of the things that you look to do but that isn't just like scoring and rebounding like those little things well go, go for rebounds Know, every time I get a chance, because we have shooters all around the floor, you know, we have great shooters that make shots, but you know, it's like, what if they miss it? You know, I'm there to got to get a rebound. Um, another one of my uh, things I like to do is set, set good screens to get our guys open. It just felt like it feels like I scored the ball too. Once you know, I can get JJ or, or Pelly from off the screen shooting a wide open shot. You know, those are two main things. Uh, get in, and whoever I'm guarding, you know, make sure they don't score the ball on me. Take highly, you know what I mean? Don't let my man outwork me. Coach was saying he was so happy with the professional approach that you guys took to game one. I mean, is this one of those things where you guys are able to sort of, in a way, remove the emotion and just keep it about the X's and O's when you're between the lines? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's kind of like a, a ripple effect for us, you know what I mean? Having, having us finish out a great season, um, playing the ball, sharing the ball, moving well. Uh, that definitely carries on into the playoffs. And, and we've been playing such good basketball, you know, sharing the ball. Guys really have no ego, and, and we, we we know we know what it takes to, to get those those 16 game winning streaks that we've been on, and to, to have it carry on in the playoffs has just been great. For us. Um, yeah, you played on um, any of career before on teams with as many international guys, and if so, what's that like? What's the difference? Is anything that stand out? I think in Toronto, I don't know how many different teammates I have. I know there's a staff there somewhere. Had a bunch of different players, new coaches. And, uh, Toronto's probably the most team I played with different international players. What, what, what is that? How does that make a locker room different? Or just playing like something different? Uh, it just, just brings a different culture to our to our locker room. Uh, talk about different things, um, especially when, when guys have kids. You know, I mean, it just brings it brings a lot of stuff in common, where you can just talk about it, and it just brings the team closer together. What have you? Uh, so, what have you learned over your career about um, the importance of uh, going with the flow in the playoffs? Like, you know, first half was one thing. Your role was different in the second. I think last year with Boston, you had different types of roles at different points. So what's important about going with the flow in the postseason? Um, it, it's definitely rare, man, and especially for our team, just to kind of come together for a first year. And, and we, we pick up Bellinelli and, and Sova. And uh, it's very rare to get that, that, that kind of flow and togetherness, like right off the back. It just shows you, you know, how good this team is and how, how, how much we're willing to win. And uh, for us to come together, you know, just like that and play well, you know, it's just points on us. Hey, man, what, uh, what's the difference?